No matter how young you are, you already have a personal history with all its trials and tribulations, and going back and reminiscing is a very nice thing to do. Mastering the simple past is really all about using the forms a number of times so that they sink down into your long-term memory bank, where the memories of your life gone by are too. So past meets past. Past book. Writing a journal or diary has somewhat gone out of fashion, being replaced by blogging into Facebook, MySpace, etc. So we'll try to combine old-fashioned journal writing with a net-based activity. It only works if you have somebody to chat with in German. So get in touch with your study buddy. How it works. Basically, what we want you to do is exchange a few stories from your past, talk about past events, relate anecdotes, etc. You can do that in several ways: in text form only, like writing a short story, or combined with photos that you email together with your story. You can stick to the short story format, or just write captions in sentence form. You could do an entry in Facebook. You can join for free if you're not a member yet. You could also go to other websites like MySpace that let you exchange personal information for free. This is the perfect opportunity to practice sentences with the subordinate conjunction als, when. As a matter of fact, you can hardly do without it if you want to tell a coherent story. Very often, als is the first word of a story. Als ich fünf Jahre alt war, wurde ich sehr krank. Or, als ich in Neuseeland Ferien machte, passierte etwas sehr Lustiges. Something very funny happened. Do one entry a week until you run out of puff. It's a great excuse to revisit your past. Apart from learning the simple past verb forms, you might also come to realize more clearly how you've progressed in your life. As a variation, you can take on a different personality and pretend to be someone else. But of course, warn your partner and let him or her do the same. Foreign correspondent. Roaming the world as a foreign correspondent is a fascinating concept for most people. The day-to-day -day reality might not be quite as romantic as people think, but you can be as dashing, adventurous, and enterprising as you like in this game. Again, it's much more fun to do this with somebody else or in a group. Your task is to concoct a newspaper story. You can base your story on anything you like: a real newspaper article, something you saw on TV, or something you simply made up. Write your story the way they appear on that special page most newspapers have, where you read all about the quirky and unusual things happening around the world. Use the simple past. Remember, written past events in German are usually narrated in the simple past, regardless of how long ago they happened. Of course, keep it nice and simple, not only as far as the tense is concerned, but also with regard to choice of words, sentence structure, etc. It's a good way to practice the art of using what you've got in terms of vocabulary and grammar to express fairly complex contents. So sharpen your wits and go for it. Memories. Remember the memory game we played in the irregular verb module? Well, we're going to play it again, and of course, it's even more appropriate when talking about the past. You can actually reuse the cards you prepared for the irregular verbs. Remember, we asked you to leave some room on the cards. You should have the present tense on the cards with the cross. For example, er schläft. Now add the simple past of the ich form of the verb. For example, ich schlief. Once you've added the ich form to the cards you already have, make another eighteen cards with strong verbs from the strong verb list in your textbook. If you've forgotten how to play memory, look it up in the irregular verb module. Invest the time to prepare the cards. You'll learn as you prepare, and then have fun playing. In the end, you'll spend less time than if you were simply learning from a verb list. Happy memories. Backgammon. Yes, we're talking about the normal game backgammon, but combined with going back in time to the simple past. What you have to do in preparation is to take some verbs, preferably a mix of regular and irregular ones, and write them on slips of paper with the infinitive on one side and the ich form of the simple past on the other. If you have word cards, you can use them and just add the simple past form, as you should do anyway. 
You can also use the memory cards, but of course you can only use the infinitive ones with the circle on the back as your stack. You can then look up the correct forms by going through the cards with the cross on the back. Each time you now want to move one of the pieces, you first have to go through a test by taking a card and getting the simple past form right. If you don't get the correct form, you're not allowed to move that particular piece, but can try another one. It'll turn backgammon into a completely new game. If your partner is not a German student, you can have him or her prepare similar challenge cards from their field of expertise. Or you can simply use trivial pursuit questions with the same degree of difficulty as your German verb forms to test your partner. You can adapt the same principle to other games. Just be creative.